Hey, this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and I'm going to show you today how I made an easy printer cabinet. Started by cutting my wood, then I went ahead and sanded it. The cabinet was custom built for the area we had between our two desks, so you'll have to get your own measurements that fit your area. I used pocket holes to um, attach each shelf to the side walls of the printer cabinet. I also added pocket holes to the top of the sides to attach the butcher block to. Here's a picture of the um, cabinet being put together. And we also used wood glue um, as well as the pocket screws to attach each shelf. And I based the height of the shelves or the shelves on um, the size of my printer. To cover the raw plywood edges, I used veneer edging and this stuff just irons on. You have to cut the right length and you just heat up your iron and iron it directly on to the raw edges. Once that was complete, I was able to prime my whole cabinet and then go ahead and paint it. This is the barnwood gray that I'm using for all of the cabinets in this room. I also added felt pads to the bottom so that it wouldn't scratch our floors. So I have, um, the butcher block is stained now with black cherry varathane wood stain. And what I do is I put two gloves on, one on each hand, and then I use an old sock to dip in the stain and wipe on. So this is the bottom of the butcher block. We're gonna do the bottom first. And I did the sides. I'm gonna apply my polyurethane once this is dried for, for uh, 24 to 48 hours. Once, and then I'm gonna add like three, like maybe two layers of um, polyurethane on the bottom. Once that dries, flip it, stain the top, and then do multiple layers of polyurethane sanding between each layer for the top. So the top needs more polyurethane because it's getting more exposure to children and things on it. These are the desktops and also the small printer cabinet top that have been um, stained and then I applied polyurethane. I added a couple layers to the bottom and then several layers to the top to protect the butcher block. As you can see I added pocket holes here and here. I also had to um, add some extra support here because this is two pieces of butcher block that we shaved off from our desks because we didn't have enough big enough piece without buying another piece of butcher block. So this saved us a little money. Glued this together with um, some wood glue, added extra supports here which will be visible. And then we attached a butcher block using these pocket holes. And actually there's only two in each side. There was extra holes because I messed up, but whatever. And here's the cabinet put in before we added additional shelves on top and on either side um, for our area. I screwed in our pencil sharpener, which works pretty well. I actually strongly prefer this to some of the other pencil sharpeners we've used. Um, it's nice and stable with it screwed into the butcher block, and um, it does create a little bit of a mess, but we just clean that up as needed. And here is the whole area or uh, section of it, and you can see our kids' desks on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. I have um, some better pictures there, and eventually I'll finish decorating in here as well. But this is what the printer cabinet looks like, and it works really well for holding all of our homeschooling supplies and our office supplies. Thanks so much. Make sure to check out the blog post on DIYDanielle.com, and have a great day.